but uh, weightlifting is about selecting the correct weights. What it's executing building a total. Yeah, but to be fair to him, that sort of weight, you know, uh, 185, you know, he's, he, you know, he's been there lots of times before. I have no doubt that, you know, that's a weight which yeah. he will lift time after time. Now, clock off. This is the second of the Russians. Yeah. Three years older than teammate Lapikov. Looking for a total of 420 today, so he's one of the more ambitious men in the, in this class. Very low, but nonetheless didn't put his bottom on the ground, so the lift is good. Had a good start at 186. Dmitry Krokov. Coming out of the uh, junior ranks. Former junior European champion, junior world silver medalist. So, of where it needed to be. So, clock off, 190. Yes, he wasn't that solid for me on his first lift, but let's see, but, but with a bit of pressure off, you never know. Yeah. Well, that's a new mark, and a very important one. A couple of years ago, around about this time in 2003, this is a man who was a junior European lifter in Valencia, in Spain, was snatching 170. So two years on, he's out now added another 20 kilos, which is not a surprise. Yeah. So 192. So Tesovic managed to medal. And everybody's very, very close. I mean, this is uh, it's a very difficult competition to call. This would put this man seven kilos clear of the defending champion. Only 21. Technically he's very good, he's also strong enough and he's also very much on fire. So 192 kilos. So Dmitry Klokov. So clear lead. His positioning with the bar, David, on all the attempts has been extremely good. He, more than anybody else in this class, has mastered the technique. And 192 represents a great new mark. It's been coached there on the left by David Riggett. But in fact, it's Dmitry Klokov, the half-time leader, 222. Just coming in exactly where he said he would. And if he lifts this, he really does establish himself as the man to catch. Yeah, so this would put him on 4.14. Ah! A strong split and you had to work at it. 
Yeah, but it was good. It wasn't in doubt. It was well executed. So 4-12. 4.14. 4.14, yeah, sorry. Forgot about the two from the uh, snatch race. The advantage, 4.14. It's going to be difficult to catch now. So the rest could all fail. He, he could end up with a gold medal without doing anything else. Now 2.27. Five kilo increase. So surely, David, yeah. this is... This is the move to try and put the whole thing to bed. To take him up to 419. in line gave that absolutely everything and that uh, 227 a new personal best and it just shows you David that uh, this man has obviously had problems because we haven't seen him really then haven't seen him since really 2004 in the European Championships in Kiev that was the last time when he totaled up 410 so the promise was there but this is the deliverance well he ends up with the bronze because this man has got the silver hasn't he bratan has got the overall silver oh yes yeah 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 and clock off no, he's not going to take a lift. Doesn't yeah, need he it. Doesn't need it, does he? No. Why bother? He's on 4.19. Chance, chances are, David, that he, you know, he was all out to get that 2.27. I think even another key, you know, just the effort of the whole competition, uh, odds against him actually lifting up another. But he's got all three gold medals, so yeah, it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, very interesting competitor from fourth in Europe back in April 2004 to first in the world and ironically the man who was just